Hi guys, welcome back. This is Erin from Paint Those Piggies and we also have Amelia here who is trying to get my attention. So we are back today. We like she's gonna do something in the video. I am back today with another round of weekly manis. We're almost at the end of March tomorrow. Well tonight we are supposed to get snow which I can't really complain compared to the people in the Northeast, but come on now. It's supposed to be spring. Like this is just getting ridiculous, but I, I'm trying to get into spring colors, but I don't know. We're only a week away from Easter, but it doesn't really feel like that because, I mean, snow? Really? Spring? Where is it? <laughs> so I guess some things that are going on next week, I will have the Essie Spring Collection video going live. I have done all the swatches. I just need to film the video. Today I also ordered the 9-0 Spring Collection. I like prepared myself to order it right when it went live and it's not a pre-sale so I should be getting that pretty soon. I also will have um, a project polish update. I've already filmed that. I just need to edit it <laughs> and so there's a lot of good videos coming up and so I also will have a March haul coming up soon and I can't believe it's going to be April so <laughs> let's get right into weekly manis. We're back on our regularly we're back on our regularly scheduled week, I guess, Saturday through Friday, so let's get right into it. So for Saturday, it was St. Patrick's Day. I didn't do anything <laughs> besides wear green on my nails. I had to work. Other than that, I don't think we did anything. I have recently found out that I was lactose intolerant, so... Yeah, that's a bit interesting, but I felt a lot better. I was like sick, like my stomach was sick for the past couple of months. So I haven't felt great, but now I feel a lot better and that explains it. So I did wear green that day. This first one is from my Project Polish. This is Essie's On The Roadie. I really, really love this green. It's so bright, but it's not like neon it's not in your face but it's a really really bright green i meant to do a gold accent nail but i completely forgot so instead of the accent nail i used um this gold which was supposed to be the accent nail but i just brushed it on lightly all over my nails i really really loved it this is starly's king midas i did get this off of livelovepolish.com and normally i don't like gold but this is like the most blingy holographic gold you've ever seen it is like insanely gold <laughs> so I just I bought it on a whim when I bought a bunch of other polishes this was probably like the last polish I picked out but for some reason it is just like crazy blinged out gold I did end up finishing up OPI's golden eye so this kind of replaced it but the holographic is what is making me forgive it for being so blingy and gold but obviously green and gold for St. Patrick's Day were totally appropriate so that is what I wore on St. Patrick's Day which was Saturday. Next up for Sunday, I knew I was going to be swatching the Essie Spring Polishes, so I just threw something on to wear in the morning for when we went out shopping because at this point wearing bare nails feels weird to me. So I just threw something on for my Project Polish. This one I'm really trying to get out. You'll see that in my Project Polish video, which I did film like at the beginning of this week. So it's going to go live probably sometime maybe the weekend or at the beginning of next week, but I haven't finished this bottle off yet, but it's pretty close. This is OPI's Unforgrettably Blue from the Germany collection. I do have a big bottle of this. This is a metallic blue. I really do enjoy this. Normally these kind of like deep blues aren't really my favorite, but I really do like this one. So this I just threw on for Sunday. So, so that is what I wore on Sunday. So next up is what I wore on Monday. This is one of the polishes that I found on TJ Maxx on Sunday. I only found two polishes and normally I let them sit for a little bit so I can look at them. I don't know why I do that, but I do that with everything <laughs> when I buy it. But this one is very springy and I think it was cold on Monday but I'm starting to like incorporate spring polishes like maybe every other day will be a spring polish. I don't know if I did. I. I kind of did that this week, 
not really, but this was my one really springy polish. I had wanted this polish for a while. It just, it's so pretty and bubblegummy. I really like it. It's not like the most unique polish ever, but I really, really like the look of this. It's like a pure bubblegum pink. This is Essie's Saved by the Bell. I don't remember what collection this is from. It's from that same like 90s collection that As If is from, but I really just liked the look of this bubblegum pink. You can really see that bubblegummy color up close. It didn't have the best formula. I have not figured out why these kind of like really blue-based, light pastel, like white-based, bubblegummy pastel pinks have a terrible formula. It's like they all do. They all have that terrible, it's probably because there are like such pastel-y, white-based pinks. They all have like three coat, terrible formulas. This one wasn't as bad. The one I'm thinking about from the OPI um, New Orleans collection, I think it's OPI Susie Nails New Orleans, has a terrible formula. It's even worse than this one, but this one wasn't as bad. The formula is not terrible, but it does need three coats. But I don't know. All of these like pastel pinks, nobody can get the formula right. But I really, really, <laughs> I, really I really enjoyed the color on this one. So I mean, I really liked it. I like the color. So that, so that was Monday's manicure, which was Essie's Saved by the Bell. So for Tuesday's manicure, I wanted to wear this polish specifically. This is in my project polish, but somebody had left me a YouTube comment that they were wearing this for their wedding manicure, which I believe was this week. I was a little bit behind on responding to comments. So hopefully their wedding was this week, not last week if I was behind on comments. So I really wanted to wear this because they had taken the time to let me know that their wedding was coming up and they were wearing Essie's Demure Vix. So if you are watching this video, congratulations on your wedding. I appreciated that you let me know that you were wearing this manicure, this color on your nails. And so I wanted to like pay tribute to that. So, so I plucked this out of my project polish and wore it on my nails. And that is why I put the little heart on my nails. I just did it on one nail. I originally was going to put this white in my project polish. This is Formula X White Matter and I ended up taking it out because it wasn't very unique. So this is the way I used to make the little heart and once I made the heart on one nail I realized it was really hard to do so I just put dots on the other nails but that is the reason I chose to do this manicure on Tuesday because of that comment. So I wanted to just pay tribute to that wedding comment on my um, other YouTube video. So that was Tuesday's manicure, just an ode to the wedding comment. So that was Essie's Demure Vix and Formula X's White Matter. Okay, so for Wednesday's manicure, I had to wear this polish after looking at it for a few days. This was sent to me and I feel like, I, I just feel like my heart wants to burst with happiness. I received three different packages over the last two weeks, which so I never like want people to send me packages or have asked for people to send me anything because I don't want that to happen. But a couple people had messaged me after a topic Tuesday where people were posting their wish lists and their lemming list, which is like polishes that you really want. and. Um, I had posted OPI's Ginger Bells on my lemming list. Someone had messaged me, Norma, on my Instagram and she had said she had a bottle that she didn't like the color and she wanted to send it to me. So this polish made it to me all the way from Canada from someone who just wanted to send it to me. And that is just like the kindest thing I've ever heard. It really is. So this polish, I wore it. This is OPI's Ginger Bells. It has been on my lemming list. And I just could not be happier with it. I just like it. It makes me want to cry that somebody like thought that thought of me to to send this to me. Like that just makes me just like so incredibly like 
grateful and I know it's just like a nail polish but just the thought behind it and I love this polish. It's insanely beautiful to me. It's like exactly the color of gingerbread. I think it is such a cool and unique color. It's not a color for everybody, but it's kind of like a mix between brown and orange. It's along the lines of OPI's It's a Piazza Cake. I kind of scrolled through my Instagram to compare the two polishes. It's a Piazza Cake is much more orange, but this one is much more brown. This one actually has a stellar formula compared to It's a Piazza Cake. I have trouble with that other formula. It kind of needs three coats for me. This one could not have a better <laughs> formula. It seriously like applied itself in two coats. It was amazing. That was my polish for Wednesday. I was so happy with it. I So thank you Norma if you're watching this. It just it was just so so sweet and kind but I'm like getting choked up because it was so nice, <laughs> but that was OPI's Ginger Bells and that was Wednesday's manicure. So next up for Thursday, this one I pulled out, spoiler alert, it's going in my Project Polish and I already finished it. This mini is from an OPI holiday set. I believe somebody told me it was called Rock Goddess. I used to have the packaging but I have long since thrown it out. This one is like the worst yellow I've ever used. It is so bad. It is called OPI Yellow Palooza. It's terrible. It honestly is so bad. That is why I already used it up. I only got two uses out of this little thing. You can already see my little mark on it. It only had one more use in it because it was like three gloppy coats. I did have to thin it out to get it to apply to my nails, but it's almost like a bright sunflower. There are dupable colors within OPI's range already, but this was from a few years ago when OPI used to do like mini sets for Halloween, but the formula of this is just atrocious. It was so bad. It was, it's just like not even worth using, but I did end up using it up. So that'll be like in next time's project polish, not even like the one that's coming up, but the one after that. So that's going to be a long time away to hold on to this, but I did end up using that up on Thursday. So that was OPI's Yellapalooza. Probably will never hear of that again, but it got used up on Thursday. And last up is today's polish, which is Friday. I pulled this one out because I was looking at the 9-0 Lacquers Spring Collection. I keep wanting to say holiday, but that's not right. And I was looking at her YouTube video, and this polish kind of reminded me of it, except hers is holographic and it has like a gold shift in it. But it reminded me of this polish, which reminds me of those Easter egg chocolates, like the foil covered ones that only come out like at Easter, which I now cannot eat because they are chocolate, which has milk in it. But those are like my favorite candy ever. I can't have them now, which I which really kills me, but <laughs> I love them because they taste kind of weird. Like it's only the foil covered chocolate eggs that taste weird. I don't know if it's because they're covered in foil, but this polish and the blue one that came out in this collection remind me of that. And I always wear these at Easter time. And this is Zoya's Ricky. So So there's a polish in the 9-0 Lacquers collection that reminded me of this and I love wearing this around Easter. So I pulled this out. This is Zoya's Ricky and this is really like a foily polish. It's got a green base, almost like kind of like, um, like a sage, like Eastery grass green and it's got gold like flecks in it. It's very much like a foily polish very metallic. I use two coats, but it's a little bit finicky. Like if you leave any bare spots on the nails, you're going to have to go back and cover it with a third coat. But I really, really like this polish. This is like the first collection that I ever got from Zoya. So it really makes it memorable for me. But these polishes that came in this collection just like reminds me of those foil chocolate Easter eggs. And so I was really brought back to those. And I really just love this color. There's 
also like a blue. Um, Zoya's Tinsley came out in that collection. I, I just love like that whole collection that they came out with. I don't remember what it was called, but I really enjoy that collection. So I thought I'd wear these like right before Easter because that's like coming up really quickly. I do plan on doing like a spring polish picks, but I don't think I'm going to get one. I probably won't get one done before Easter, but we'll see. Maybe this weekend. But that was what I have on today, which is Zoya's Ricky. So that is everything in weekly manis this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. As always, feel free to let me know what you wore down in the comments below. I would love to see if you're still holding on to dark colors or if you've moved on to spring. I know a lot of you commented last week that you're already like over the dark colors and that you moved on to spring, but I guess it kind of depends on if you have spring weather or not. Thank you guys as always for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys, I guess. Millie says bye too. <laughs>